welcome back to the channel guys so electric cars from south korea have been popular lately in europe look at the likes of um hyundai ionic 5 kia ev6 and the rest so there is sanyong sanyong have been around in the have been around for some time now but they're not really popular they have actually rebranded from uh, sanyong to kgm so that is their electric version called the kgm corando emotion that is what you see over here i mean some young like i said i've been around they produce rexton cars and uh, other corando in petrol and diesel versions so what we are going to do today is like we do always we are going to check out the exterior design look at the interior and also go on a test drive to see its performance my name is dave Dill, and you are watching driver five so now we'll look at the front of this beautiful car. It's got a bold look. The grille is minimal because it's electric, but it still has this rugged, confident presence. And those LED headlights, super sleek, they really give it a premium vibe. Whether you are driving at night or pulling into the driveway, those headlights are sharp and just make the whole front end pop. Overall, the front design definitely says modern SUV, but with a touch of elegance. You're also going to look at the tie over here. It's got these nice 17 inch alloy wheels that come standard. They do a good job balancing comfort and grip whether you are cruising through the city or taking it on the highway. So generally, I think this car is beautiful if you look at the body like this. It's got a solid strong stance. The Coranda E-Motion keeps that classic SUV shape but with clean modern lines that give it a bit of sophistication. It's compact enough for urban driving but still feels like a proper SUV. It's not flashy but it's definitely stylish in a confident and stated way. So let's check out the boot over here. This is how we open it. Now, if you need space, this is where the Corando E-Motion really shines. The trunk is massive, 551 liters, that way bigger than most competitors in this class. You could easily pack up for a road trip, a weekend getaway, or even fit a bike in there if you fold the back seat down. Speaking of which, the rear seat fold flat in a 60-40 split. You've gone a ton of versatility for whatever life throws at you. It comes equipped with sleek modern LED tail light that not only enhance the overall aesthetic but also ensure maximum visibility on the road. This sharp angular light gives the rear an upscale premium look making the SUV stand out whether it's a day or night. Let's check out the interior design. This is a steering wheel, very beautiful, with a lot of bad things over here. You've got a well laid out cabin. The infotainment system comes standard with an 8 inch touchscreen. And if you go for the higher trims, it's a 9.2 inch screen. It's got all the basics like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There is ambient lighting that runs from the right side of the dashboard through to the left side and it's very beautiful at night. Storage is good. There is a big glove box that you can keep your items there. Well, it comes with one USB port. So this is the USB port over here, only one over here. And then there is power outlet for the cigarettes too over here. Fantastic. Wireless charger so you can charge your battery over here and then now we look at the gear so the gear is basically the shift one fantastic and we have the bad things also over here car holder the car holder is over here and also we have the glove box to up here with some kind of space over here the seat is comfortable you can adjust it anyhow you want but it is manual it is not automatic it is actually manual so you see how i do it i pull it forward i fold it by my hand it's automatic i go back and then with this too manual you see i go back manual everything is manual see me go up it's manual okay but then um, yes so there are also buttons over here with the power windows and then 
the electronic side mirrors are electronic over here fantastic and when we also look at the, the driver display it also displays the speedometer and everything over here this and then when we come to the top when we come to the top it has a light over here and some few buttons to over here all right it doesn't come with a sunroof but i think it's okay i'm looking at the price point let's talk about the back seat there's a lot of space back here seriously it's roomy plenty of leg room and headroom even for taller folks you've got an armrest with cup holders too which is always a nice touch for those longer journeys unfortunately it doesn't have a usb port at the back but then it comes with a cigarette lighter socket which can serve as same purpose when you connect the charger head to it if you've got little ones the isofix mount for child seats make life easier so these are where you can find the metallic hooks in the top trims the rear passengers even get heated seats not something you see often in this price range as for the materials the fox leather upholstery looks good and feels durable it gives the interior that nice premium touch without breaking the bank sure it's not ultra luxury but the materials feel solid and practical it's time to test this car when i first moved the sayon corando in motion the electric power really kicked in immediately the acceleration is smooth and you can feel the instant torque that evs are known for it goes from 0 to 100 km per hour in about 9 seconds which for a compact suv it is pretty solid it's not blistering fast but it's more than enough for everyday driving whether you are navigating city street or merging onto the highway around town you will notice that initial punch when you take off from a spotlight it's quick and responsive it feels great when you need that little burst of speed and it makes city driving really fun once you get up to a high speed the corando emotion settles in a nice smooth cruise and let's not forget about the price and the range with the price we are looking at about 37,000 us dollars or 399,000 norwegian krona and with the range we're also looking at about 340 kilometers or 211 miles but in a real world conditions you are probably looking at about 180 miles depending on how you drive if you are sticking to a city driving and using eco mode you can stretch it a bit further so guys um i'm done with the test drive i mean you saw everything what do you think about it is this something that you would like to drive i mean spend money on to buy let me know in the comment section and if you are not following this channel kindly do so thank you